Hey guys, Greg at Best Trace Trailers. Today we're gonna to take a walk around an H8 series, eight inch channel frame equipment trailer from Lamar. This trailer's got a few options on, one being the gooseneck coupler, the other being the stand-up deluxe ramps. This trailer's gonna measure in at 24 foot length. It's gonna be 22 foot of flat deck with a two foot dovetail. And then again, we've optioned in the ramps shown. Trailer's gonna weigh about 4,000 pounds. It's gonna give you a net legal payload on the deck of about 10,000, 14,000 GVW minus the four empty would be your 10. You're also gonna pick up probably a good 2,000 pound. Typically it's around 22% to the coupler, but uh, very conservatively you should be able to handle somewhere around 12,000 pound on a trailer. Ideal unit for mid-sized to larger uh, tractors. Uh, with uh, front uh, loader and a rear brush hog. Uh, 60, 70, 80 horse tractors with those attachments uh, would fit great. Uh, small, medium size skid steers with, uh, with an attachment um, certainly work well. Get some guys that have uh, fence pounders on bobcats and they'll put, put an extra skid, but you got 24 foot of length to work with. The trailer is equipped with a two and five sixteenth inch gooseneck ball. It's got this spring-loaded latch assembly. Trailer's got a fully sealed seven uh, RV blade style connection with a sealed wiring harness. Notice the uh, blue color would be your, your uh, cold weather wire harness. So it's rated down to negative 65 degree temperature. It'll still say flexible. Trailer's got your required breakaway cable for safety. Safety chains with an integrated holder. It's got a spare tire mount in the neck, which is nice. You've got your neck gussets or doublers going from the vertical to horizontal and from the vertical to the frame. It's got dual 12,000 pound jacks with the spring foot. You've got stake pockets, rub rail, and then you've also got uh, four D-rings, four inch D-rings as well uh, on this one. Bullet LED lights are standard equipment. Now I did mention this was an eight inch channel frame, but this also has a three by five under frame bridging underneath. It's got a pretty, pretty heavy duty frame for what you'd be putting on it. 16 inch on center cross members. I'll point out as well, those are structural channel cross members. Uh, that is not form channel that you would sometimes see. This is a continuous rub rail, which is nice. Sometimes you'll see uh, rub rails that are pieced together. This is full, uh, uh, full piece rub rail. The fenders on these are removable, simply bolt on. This is a double broke fender, uh, teardrop setup. I'm sorry, not teardrop, it's uh, diamond plate fender with the uh, double broke. Black mod wheel, it's got a 7,000 pound axle. Now, Lamar does use an upgraded 9 16th inch stud. That's going to be a 7 8 uh, lug nut. You've got a 23580 R16 10 ply load range E radial tire. Now, when you go to the 14,000 pound GVW, you go to slipper spring suspension. That's pretty well industry standard, which not industry standard would be the wet bolt kit they put on there uh, for some extra serviceability. Uh, speaking of serviceability, behind the black cap, uh, there's a grease dirt. Call these easy lube hubs. Homeowner with basic hand tools. Simply uh, put a grease gun on your zert there and you can service your own bearings. Uh, this does have 10 ply. That is what the majority of trailers go out with. If you do require a 14 ply tire, we do generally keep uh, plenty of tire and wheels in stock. We can make that accommodation uh, if you're going to be toward the max load of the trailer. Uh, this does have a tread plate beaver tail toward the rear instead of wood, which is nice. Uh, one thing that's not typical on a lot of trailers would be a, a beaver tail uh, gusset, but they, uh, they do put them on both sides here. Notice again, the rub rail goes from the fender all the way to the rear. Ramps on this are what we call stand-up deluxe. Instead of being about a 14 to 16 inch ramp, these are a full two foot with the mesh face. Allows you to load uh, various items from golf carts to cars, zero turn mowers, etc. Uh, they like this ramp a lot better. Certainly the extra width uh, makes it nice as well. Now you notice these ramps are spring assisted and the 
uh, kicker knee on these is adjustable as well. Of course, you've got your LED lights. Uh, some folks uh, request what the distance is between the ramps, how much you can adjust them. You can get within roughly a two foot center uh, with these ramps. Now mind you, each of those ramps is two foot as well. Solid rear bumper, stop turn tails. If you wanna remove a ramp for any reason, uh, they're bolted in if you wanna replace it with a, uh, with a clip pin like so. You're certainly welcome to do that. Most folks don't need to take the ramps off. So again, this is 24 foot. You're gonna be 22 of wood deck, two foot uh, with the dovetail, and then you've got a five foot ramp. We do stock uh, gooseneck trailers, but generally with sliding ramps in longer lengths. So if you do need something 30 to 40 foot length or better, we do keep those in stock. And we also keep generally some gooseneck tilt trailers, similar size to this for similar application if you prefer the full width loading of a tilt. If you have any questions, feel free to give us a ring at 717-220-4220. Or you can visit us on the web at bestchoicetrailers.com. Thank you.